that is uh, down near the bottom of the ACC in just about every category. And out to the 25 for their first possession. Good protection in front of Trevor, gets the pass away, caught at the 30 and stuffed immediately was Garrett Williams. And Wake Forest will force the punt. It's up the tough, especially for these linebackers. Looking at a third and five, Hartman stepping up in the pocket, will run for it and appears to have enough close to the 40. The brings up, there's a lot of money on that <laughs> defensive line, there's no doubt. <laughs> Third and long, and here they come again, and it's Trey Lamar, the middle linebacker, with the sack of Sam Hartman. Trey Lamar, he's a guy, he's going to come through. He's very active at the line of scrimmage. If anything, he blitzes the most of all the linebackers on this football team. You better put a body on him. You see number 22, Colburn, is late on that. You have to get up in the line of scrimmage. Hartman in trouble immediately. Cleveland Farrell. It's the second sack for Clemson. All right, real quick. <laughs> I get the ball to number three. I know that. <laughs> They're going to run it instead. And nothing doing. Cleveland Farrell with the stop. Play in the second half. And now he returns to start again today. And he throws it out into the flat T. Higgins. And especially... Bryce and the job of that offensive line to create running room for ETN. Not on that occasion though, Nasir Greer getting into the backfield. Pressure right up the middle, Lawrence able to chuck it out of bounds, but he was in the grasp. A little rolling with some of those roll foam rollers to, to get his legs back. Meanwhile, back to the action, and the dominance continues for this Clemson defense. Xavier Thomas and another negative yardage play for Wake Forest. Birds now is still in the negative through their first three drives. Hartman with some time, overthrows it, and almost intercepted Mark Fields. Couldn't hold on, and it's fourth down. Just underway, they are scoreless so far. Beth Mullins, Anthony Beck. Rocky Boyman and Travis ETN. Touchdown Tigers, 59 yards. He's the most explosive, dynamic player on the field. You better put a body on this guy or he will make you pay. Well, they need to make a big play here. They bunch up Greg Dorch to the left. Hartman rolling that way, incomplete, and it's fourth down. This is Choice coming out of the backfield. He's going to be about a yard short. Got to the 40. They needed the 41. Nearly 17 yards per game. That is number one in FBS. Hasn't had much of a chance so far. That will bounce right to him. And he is buried at the 11 after the 47-yard punt. Clawson's all riled up at the officials right now. Huffman in trouble. Chased by Wilkins. He'll chuck it downfield and Dorch with a big cushion to make the catch at the 35 for the first down. Five arm by Hartman. Hartman trying to go against the grain and taken down immediately. One thing they're doing is rotating some of those linemen in between series. We'll see if these guys can play as well as their starters. Carney stuffed for a loss. Niles Pinckney, one of those backups in the middle with the hit. Pressures to their starting defensive line. Third and 12. Hartman, here comes Farrell right in his face, forcing him to toss it downfield, and it's intercepted by Tanner Muse. Farrell's been a problem, rolls inside, goes right over the center. Anderson doesn't pick him up, forces Hartman to throw this ball off balance. Well, you just can't throw it up in the air. Freshman mistake, and Muse, Clemson's defense, makes him pay. On second down, another quick hitter to the edge, and a first down to T. Higgins. They'll run it behind the fullback, ETN lunging, good push, 
by Wake Forest. ETN with the bounce inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Clemson, as Travis got to the edge. ETN 86 yards on the ground, and he'll get four more in his second touchdown of the day. Fourth down run, and when they get close to that goal line, easy. At 8 Eastern, Notre Dame in Blacksburg to take on Virginia Tech. And here is Greg Dortch, ball in his hands on the kick return, and he lost it. Fumbled it at the 35, and it trickled out of bounds, and it will stay with Wake. Team career games. Now they're gonna be short of the marker by a yard. Jack Frudenfall with the catch. Kayvon Wallace wrapped him up. I'll tell you, I mean, it's hard. I'd take him. I mean, he, he'd be the number one back and taking every snap for any team across the country outside of Clemson. Trevor Lawrence with the run out to the 45. He's set here for Trevor. Edge pressure coming, and it'll get him. DJ Taylor throws him down for the loss of six. And it's third down and 10. You see on the edge, they're going to come out. And again, you got to see, see Cade a little late. The guard's supposed to pick out and kick that linebacker from coming from death, and he doesn't get there. He sees him, but he's just too late. Thompson uses a lot of them. They do not have a third down conversion yet today against the three-man pressure. Lawrence down the seam. Justin Ross, touchdown Tigers. Really nice job. He looks it out. It's got trips on the right side and just reads it. Three routes, really an all. Left guard for Wake Forest, still without any rush yards today, and now in a 21-point hole. So they're going to go to Greg Dortch again. He's their top guy in a gain of 11. Way to take away that RPO scheme. Second and six, the jet sweep, and there's the youngster again, Xavier Thomas, who had that huge sack late in the Syracuse game. Coming off the football, he's a very dynamic, young, up-and-coming player. Another negative play there, a loss of five. Hartman to Greg Dortch, and he will rule that a catch at the 40. Sixth punt already of this half from Damaggio. Little we'll Chase Rogers back inside the 20 to the 15. And now for a look at today's one for six on third downs. Lawrence on a rollout. He's going to air it out deep downfield and well overthrown. Looking for Hunter Renfro. And it's fourth down at his own 45. Pressure coming. They got after the kicker and knocked down. Spires a flag is down as the ball is down at the 45-yard line. Second and seven, and down he goes. Wrapped up back at the 21, it's Boogie Basham again. He's got Basham, this is not a good Basham. Basham is very good, but look, they got good protection. It's just that Basham continues to work. You gotta have an internal clock as a quarterback. Again, Trevor Lawrence is a true freshman. I know he feels comfortable and everybody's kind of there, but if that... Lawrence slings it to the outside. Higgins with the nice dodge, he'll get out across the 25-yard line, and it's fourth down. Make clean tackles. Better job. That's a holdup right there, and this is a returnable play. A boomer to Dortch, trying to get to the outside. Does get the near sideline, and the cutback out across midfield will set up Wake Forest. One to nothing, under five minutes to go in the first half. Syracuse perhaps a bit of a hangover from last week's loss, and they'll go deep down the middle to the tight end, Jack Frutenthal. Gain of 20. Yeah, again, suck the linebacker in, Beth. 57, Lamar, uh, Trey Lamar just slightly hesitate. Russ, if you can go get him, because even as a pass, he's your guy. 
underneath. It's going to be close. Rudenthal reaching for it. Fourth and one. charge against Cade Carney. Big hole up the middle and the burst out across the 35. And a first down for Adam Choice. Now, but it's dangerous weapons. Receiver screen. Higgins trying to make something happen and he'll get the first down yardage on a good block from Garrett Williams. Been able to help them out when they get the football. Held to just 76 total yards in the first half. Lawrence on the slant, Renfro down inside the 35. And a gain of 18 for the intermission. Play action, Lawrence completes it to Ross. Drop it off to the tight end. Galloway is taken down for a loss of a couple. Jake Simpson got him. And looking at a third and seven. Lawrence into the end zone. Caught by T. Higgins for the touchdown. He gets a little pressure in his face, but he stands in there and delivers. We saw that earlier to start the game. That was part of it. But look at this. Just rotating that outside receiver up the middle. And Wake Forest really doesn't have an answer. Not what we've seen. They didn't show that on tape, obviously, last week. Even against Notre Dame, Beth, they were able to put some points up on the board. But too much for this Clemson defense to put on them. Hartman is sacked for the third time. And that's the second of the day for Trey Lamar. It's been a challenge to slow down Trevor Lawrence making his second career start. And Travis Etienne. Second massive run of the day, 70 yards for the score. Behind the block of Tremaine Ankrum. Much space, but when it's there, Beth, nobody there, untouched. And you're not going to catch him from behind. Tremendous speed, home run hitter, Travis Etienne. Quarterback, when to slide, when to take the shots, but you got to protect yourself if you want to last the season. They've got a first down there on the handoff to Matt Colburn. Hope from a couple more teams in the ACC to keep their strength of schedule up as they try and run the table in the league. Trevor Lawrence hands it off, and uh, Tavian Feaster is back in the lineup. Playing well, uh, you know, it's Will Greer is, is one of the best quarterbacks. Lawrence hit as he releases, caught by T.J. Chase. That'll be short of the first down, and it's fourth down coming up. They have been able to keep Dortch quiet so far today, and they'll throw him down again. Whistle dead around the 20. More impressive considering that NC State game was canceled, right? So that's coming in. One last game. Yeah, and it may affect both of them, Rocky. I mean, think about it. I mean, North Carolina State, they may both need those kind of games. Right, that did play into the hands. They will not re They will not play West Virginia. They did schedule East Carolina. And this is Kendall Hinton, the new quarterback for Wake Forest. Down inside the 10-yard line. Kayvon Wallace got him by the shoestring. Kendall Hinton. And yeah, Hinton, uh, again, it's just design quarterback run. Nobody's home. A lot of backup players right now in the game, especially up front for Clemson. But, you know, watch it. Oh, boy, hamstring. He just came in his first play. Sometimes those things tweak up. He may be getting them retaped as well, so hopefully he's okay. Hinton bottled up. Kendall Joseph, first guy there, and it's fourth and goal. And it is good. Not play the final five games of the season for Wake. And now the injury today. Dixon breaking a tackle. Gets out beyond the 45 and a gain of 18. Overs, you know, for them, I just feel like, you know, they haven't hit in their stride, and this is just one of those games that can continue to get better. In. Lawrence incomplete. Throughout the day, I think, well, 14 undefeateds, and uh, that number may be dwindling. 
which could be good news for Clemson. Travis is going to move up that list, too. With two huge games back to back and a terrific start to the season as Chase Bryce has now come in at quarterback. And they were ready for it. And Chase got the job done late. And another huge play for Clemson. Adam Choice. Touchdown, Tigers, 64 yards. Again, watch this guard, May. Great block. He gets the mic back, and there's nobody there. Uh, to kind of impose their will on uh, defensive front. I sure did it today. And get ready for uh, undefeated NC State and then what looks like a rejuvenated Florida State with a trip down to Tallahassee to close out the month of October. Size, 350 pounds, uh, more of a you know 3-4 scheme, like a you know, two-gap kind of player. I think Wilkins is more of a single-gap guy. Here they go again, Dixon. A foot race for the end zone. Unbelievable explosive plays today for Clemson. That one goes 65 yards. I have Rocky right, they made a change, but no one's there. And they're still starters in this game. I mean, this isn't a bunch of backups for Wake Forest. I mean, they generally... I think the more you can do that, the more you can make your case. If both, you know, both Clemson and Notre Dame end up undefeated, those style points may be a factor. Not counting Clemson out, they just, again, this is a, a dominant performance by then. Out. Yeah, they are enjoying this one over Wake Forest. Hinton trying to make a play. And he'll work his way out close to midfield. Hinton. Of course, the other thing you're doing, too, here is extending the game. That stopped the clock on three different plays. Beaten with uh, Ian Book at quarterback and one of the best defenses in college football so far this year. We know the Irish... This is Notre Dame. Notre Dame needs to come out and set the tone early and really counter the audience that's going to be trying to make some noise in this game. Another big play here for Clemson and Dixon. All the way down to the 20. They got 300-yard rushers today. Out of that backfield. Here's one of them. Troy staying on his feet. Tumbles down to the two. They'll throw the fade the other way. And a foot down. Touchdown. DeAndre Overton. Six four. Pretty good job, a high point in that one. I mean, that's that's uh, that's textbook right there. Going up at the highest point, raising your hands, even with the defender's face hand in his face mask, he's still able to bring it down, control it, and the foot is in bounds. And there's a the team player to that. James album, Hetfield on line one for you, Rocky line one. <laughs> Damage Incorporated. I'll put that at one. Beal Smith breaking a tackle into the secondary and hauled down around the 30-yard line. Well done here. They really like uh, Bill Smith. Uh, you know, he's gotten some reps. 42-yard run. Shows good burst, good speed. Well, against some of the backups for Clemson. First and 10 for Considine. Thrown down for a loss back at the 35. K.J. Henry. The all-time passing yardage record for the New Orleans Saints. Going for the end zone, bobbled and dropped, incomplete. Intended for Jones. Considine slinging it downfield and it's broken up right at the goal line. Mario Goodrich was there. And he's been able to get this Clemson team consistently every year. Getting bigger recruits, better players, and just being in that. And Wake Forest going to be forced to punt right here. That's K.J. Henry. Jenkins jet sweep to Dexter Lawrence. <laughs> uh. All right, right here. Okay. It's another big play for Dixon. Looking for a block in front of him. Dixon.
Jackson breaking a tackle. Inside the five. Touchdown. Oh, look at it. He may get a flag on this, but he doesn't care. Christian Wilkins running all the way over. Ah, there you go. I love it, man. Keep your eyes on Hunter Renfro right here, number 13. Wow, he gets a big block. He was just playing quarterback, folks. Leads this around and... A day for big plays for the Clemson offense and another lockdown performance for the Tiger D. Impressive on the road, 63 to three.